Hi again. Here's another interview with one of our local car people. This time it's Rico, and I'll be speaking with him about his 1959 T-Berg. What a car. Like all car guys, Rico's a great guy, and I enjoyed our conversation. There's a family history to this car. Rico explains. Well, it was uh, my father's cousin's car, and he lived in Berkeley, Michigan. Uh, his name was Julius, and uh, matter of fact, he worked for Ford's back in 1929. He used to shake Henry Ford's hand before they went to work on the assembly line. I asked what his connection was to this car. This car is uh, special to me because um, I grew up with the car. I always saw the car when it came over to our house when I was a kid, and uh, I always wanted to have that car. And I inherited the car through my uh, dad's cousin, and he lived in Berkeley, Michigan, and I had the car brought over. I restored it in 1993 till 1995, and I've been driving it since. Rico says this is a great highway cruiser and a pleasure to drive. Very comfortable. It, it cruises uh, just like a Cadillac. It uh, performs well. Uh, it's got a lot of power. I got a 390 in it. It's only a two barrel, but it has a lot of power for the car and uh, I'm really satisfied with the way it runs. This car is more than an easy rider. It constantly gets public attention. Oh, it's an eye turner. Everybody's always uh, looking at it, giving me the thumbs up, stuff like that. Everybody likes the car, I guess because it's a bright white. The original color was a colonial white, which is just a little bit more of a, like a beige white. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, everybody likes it, especially at night. It really shines. <laughs> Well, that's something Rico enjoys. This 1959 T-Bird is going to be kept in the family. It's not for sale. No, 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 not for sale. My son is probably going to get it. That's the story of Rico's 1959 T-Bird. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for viewing, and we'll see you again soon with another classic profile. Bye for now.